Hello, hello, it's Ruby Burrito, and welcome. We are going to be talking about globs of ectoplasm today. If you are working on various forms of legendary equipment or some other different crafting or aesthetic things in the game, you may be looking to get yourself some globs of ectoplasm. So this video is largely going to be covering the main method of getting ectos, which is salvaging, but I am going to touch on the other methods slightly. So let's take a quick look at the wiki so that we can acknowledge the other methods, but to be honest, they're not really the most efficient, and so I won't be talking about them for too long. All right, so you can see here, you've got the candy corn vendor during Halloween. You've got black line material bags. These are coming from black line chests. Uh, or you can get them from the black line statuettes you've got fractal chests again these are chance most of these are chance and the ones that you see are guaranteed are a method where you have a very high chance of losing all of your gold and all of your ectos so i'm really not going to be talking about those the last couple things i wanted to talk about are going to be for example the fluctuating mass or the gift of madri these are going to be from the gobblers you can see this is from madri and then you have the Magic Warp Bundle and Mist Warp Bundle. These are going to be, this is from the Skirmish Reward Track in Worldly World. Magic Warp Bundle is from Unbound Magic Vendors. Then there is a map bonus, but there's only four total and one achievement that gives you five Ectos. So not going to be really the best method to try to rely on these other ones. I'm not saying that you can't get a good amount over time, but would not be a way to massively get all of your Ectos or really to rely on. Now, let's cover how to get Ectos from salvaging. So the main thing that I feel most people are going to be getting is unidentified gear. So we'll start with how to get the Ectos from salvaging, and then I'm gonna give some tips on how to maximize your output from salvaging in general. So what you're going to need is gear that's at least level 68. You can see this is level 78, so I'm on a level 80 character, so you can get a high-end range. This will fit that first criteria. Second, you are going to want gear that is rare or exotic. Rare being the yellow, exotic being orange. And again, this is going to fit that bill. Now, with the Masters salvage kit which is going to be the equivalent of the silver fed here you are going to have a 36.75 percent chance to get zero ectos a 47 percent chance to get one 8.25 percent chance to get two and an eight percent chance to get three so you can see with the first one here i got one what was a 47 percent chance ultimately that's gonna be all you need to do if you have rares if you have exotics you can salvage them and you have a good chance to get ectos now let's get into salvaging in general. I am going to do this section assuming that you do not own an endless upgrade extractor. I do not personally. I feel like a lot of people who will be looking for this won't. So I think it's going to be the most helpful if I ignore that. So every time you get unidentified gear, you should be opening it. Unless you really just need raw gold fast and you don't wanna open up your unidentified gear, I guess you can sell it, but the best way to get the most gold out of your unidentified gear is to open it. Now, if you get fine gear, which is going to be blue, you're going to want to salvage that with a copper fed salvage matic or a basic salvage kit. Before we continue, I will take myself over to a vendor that will be able to show you what that salvage kit looks like. But you should be able to see all of the things that I see here. But this is just a regular merchant. So the copper fed salvage matic again, is gonna be the same as the basic. They will suggest the basic over the crude every single time. Now, all you're gonna do is you're going to salvage. What the copper fed salvage matic is, is an unbreakable version of the basic salvage kit. Instead of having to come here and buy them every time, I can have this sit in my inventory. It requires three copper per use which is a little bit cheaper than a basic salvage kit. Three times 25 is 75 copper. And I never have to go to a merchant to buy them. Now, masterwork gear. If you have masterwork gear and you don't have a rune crafter salvage matic vendor, you'll get, you can see here, it's a silver and 80 gold, or sorry, silver, 80 copper. You just come to the tab here and you will vendor it. If we go down here, 
you'll just double click it and render. If you do have the Rune Crafters, you will use a Rune Crafters because the upgrade gets 100% salvaged. Rare gear. Rare gear you want to salvage with the Silver Fed Salvage Omatic, which is going to be the equivalent of that Master's Salvage Kit that I was talking about earlier. Those percentages that I gave you for the Ectos are going to be from the Master's Salvage Kit. That is 25 salvages for 15 silver and 36 copper. Here, you need 60 copper per use, and the Rune Crafters is 30 copper per use. So for Exotic, which I had one here that I can show you, they are suggesting to sell it on the trading post or use a Black Lion Salvage Kit if you have it and it is a valuable piece of gear. Personally, I would say if you get Exotics, just sell them. Unless you really want the Ectos, which I don't think is a bad thing, you can gamble, I guess, with the Salvage Kit and see how many Ectos you can get. That is going to be the breakdown for salvaging. I'm going to give you guys a link in the description of the page that I use from Fast to kind of give an idea of how to salvage. But for example, you use a copper. I got two silk scraps, Essence of Luck, Rune Crafters here, Lucent Moat, Essence of Luck, Mithril, and then this I will use the Silver Fed. And I got one more glob of ectoplasm. So that's going to wrap it up. That's really everything there is to getting ectos and salvaging. So let me know if there's anything I missed out in the comments. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts, questions, or really anything you want to discuss. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for all the support lately. And we will see you in the next one.